Hello, and welcome to this Unitronics Tech Tidbit. Today we'll be going over how to secure your VisiLogic project. There are four passwords that can be set to lock down various aspects of your project. The project password prevents the application from being uploaded from the PLC to a PC. The SD card password prevents your application from being uploaded from the PLC to an SD card. A clone file is a copy of your application that can be loaded onto a controller. However, if you do not have the clone file password, it is not possible to open the clone file in VisiLogic to see the ladder. A ladder password will lock down certain subroutines within your application. Unilicensing is a tool that allows you to lock certain features within your application that can later be unlocked by providing the operator with a unique registration key. For more information on uni licensing, please follow the link in the description of this video to watch the webinar we have available on that topic. First, let's apply a project level password. To do this, simply navigate to the project drop-down menu and select properties. In the properties window that appears, you should see a checkbox for password protected upload. Check this box and provide a password between 6 and 16 characters. After you've entered matching passwords, simply press OK. Now, that password will be required anytime you want to upload the project from the PLC to a PC. Next, we want to lock down the ability to upload the project from the PLC to an SD card. To do this, we will need some very simple ladder. On PowerUp, we want to set the SD card password. To do this, we will place a direct contact on the power rail and tie that to the startup bit, system bit 2. Next, we want to go to the SD drop-down menu. Note that this menu will only be available if you have a controller selected within the hardware configuration that supports SD card capabilities. Simply connect this to the power up bit and provide an SD card password. Alternatively, you can set the SD card's password from a vector of memory locations. For this example, we will simply be using a direct string. Now every time the controller powers up, an SD card password, in this case of 123456, is set. It will not be possible to upload the project from the controller to an SD card unless you provide the password that is set here. Now that we've created both project and SD card passwords, let's take a look at how to create a ladder password. First, navigate to the project drop-down menu and select create ladder password. You will then be prompted to provide a ladder password. This password should be between 6 and 16 characters. After you've entered matching passwords, simply press OK. Now, let's create a subroutine for us to apply this new password to. After you've located the subroutine you want to lock, simply right-click it and select Ladder Password Apply. The next time this application is opened, the ladder password will be required to see this particular subroutine within the application. Now that we have applied project, SD, and ladder passwords, let's create a password protected clone file of our entire project. To do this, simply navigate to the project drop down menu and select create project files clone.vdf.dvi.ura and .urc. In the window that appears, select VisiLogic plus OS. Below that, select the ellipsis symbol 
and select the OS file that appears and click open. Now that we have selected an OS file, we could create the clone file as is. However, because we want to create a password protected clone file, we will need to provide a password in the password field. Again, this password needs to be between 6 and 16 characters. After you've provided a password, select Create File. Now, you will select a location to save this clone file to. Note that the clone file name must be exactly 8 characters long. And also note that the file extension, in my case .c57, corresponds to the controller that you have selected in the hardware configuration. After you've given it a file name, simply select Save. You will get a prompt indicating that this will create the .c57 application clone file. Simply press OK. That concludes this tech tidbit on securing your programs. I hope it was helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions.